Hello friends, welcome to Secret of Electronics. In this video, we will learn how to upload code in 8051 microcontroller using Arduino Uno as a ISP programmer. In this circuit, you can see that one pin of the crystal oscillator is connected to the XTAL one pin of the 889S52 microcontroller. And the other pin of the crystal oscillator is connected to the XTAL 2 pin of the 889S52 microcontroller. A 220p covered ceramic disc capacitor is connected between the XTL pin 1 of the 889S52 microcontroller and ground. Another 220p covered ceramic disc capacitor is also connected between the second XTL pin of the 889S52 microcontroller and ground. A 10 kilo ohm resistor is connected between the reset pin of the 889S52 microcontroller and ground. A push switch is connected between the VCC and the reset pin of the 889S52 microcontroller. A 0.1 microfarad ceramic disc capacitor is connected in parallel with the push switch. The external access enable pin of the 889S52 microcontroller is connected to the VCC. The positive terminal of the LED is connected to the pin 0 of the port 1 of the 889S52 microcontroller through a 220 ohm register. And the negative terminal of the LED is connected to the ground. Now connect the Arduino Uno board to the PC or laptop using a USB cable. After connecting, open the Arduino IDE. Once the Arduino IDE is open, go to File, then Example and select Arduino ISP. Select the board and port. After selecting the board and port, now compile or verify the code. After compiling the code, upload it by clicking the Upload button. Now connect the 5 volt output of the Arduino Uno board to the VCC pin of the 889S52 microcontroller. Connect the GND pin of the Arduino board to the GND pin of the 889S52 microcontroller. Connect the digital pin 11 of the Arduino Uno board to the MOSI pin of the 889S52 microcontroller. And connect the digital pin 12 of the Arduino Uno board to the MISO pin of the 889S52 microcontroller. Connect the digital pin 13 of the Arduino Uno board to the SCK pin of the 889S52 microcontroller. And connect the digital pin 10 of the Arduino Uno board to the reset pin of the 889S52 microcontroller. Open Kill U Vision software. After opening the software, click on project and then click new U Vision project. Give a name to this project. I am naming it LED. If you want to give it another name, you can do. After naming the project, click save. Select the 889S52 microcontroller and click yes. Then click yes again. Now go to target one and right click on it. Click on options for target target one. Go to the output tab and select create hexa file. Click OK. Now go to source group 1 and right click on it. Click add new item to group source group 1. Select C file and give a name to this file. I am naming it LED. If you want to give it another name you can do. Click add. Now paste the embedded C code into this file. You can download this code from the link provided in the description. 
Save this file and compile the code by clicking Translate Active File. You should see zero errors and zero warnings. Now click on the Build option. You should see that the hexa file is successfully created and the path is printed. Now create a VR Dude folder inside of C drive and extract the AVR Dude file into this folder. Go to the AVR Dude folder and copy the path of AVR Dude. Then go to Edit System Environment Variables and click on Environment Variable. Under the System Variable selection, select Path and click Edit. Click new then paste the path of AVR Dude. Click OK and then click OK again. Now go to the directory where you saved your kill uvision project. Go to the objects folder and copy the led.exa file or copy the exa file you named for your kill uvision project. Then go to the AVR Dude folder and paste the exa file. Now connect the Arduino Uno board to your PC or laptop using a USB cable. Open Device Manager and under Ports, you will see USB Serial Device. This is your Arduino Uno board. Replace the port in both commands with this port. You can download both commands from the link provided in the description. Copy and paste the second command into CMD and press Enter. This command will erase the previous code uploaded to the 8051 microcontroller. Next, copy and paste the first command into CMD and press Enter. Do not forget to replace the exa file name with your exa file name. You will see that the code is uploaded to the 8051 microcontroller. You can see the LED blinking because it is connected to pin 0 of the port 1.